Hello and welcome to CCIEadvisor.com. Today we'll be discussing in this lesson the show VLAN brief and this command is very similar to the other one that we have a lesson on which is show VLAN but it's a little bit less output and we'll go ahead and look over this uh, quickly so we know already that we can truncate the command show with sh and vlan with the letters vl and brief with the letters br there we go now this is in contrast to show VLAN, which we have a lesson on. If you can see right here, it all fits without needing a carriage return, which is nice. And it has pretty much uh, the information that you'll typically be looking for. So uh, we'll compare that with show VLAN. You see that? quite a bit more and you need to do a carriage return so you can hit the up arrow in the history as long as you have history set for up to two show VLAN brief that was distracting okay so here we have uh, similar information to the show VLAN uh, most of the pertinent information that you'll need for your day-to-day -day switch administration you have VLAN the name the status and the ports it belongs to so we have the default VLAN VLAN 1 that's also been named default which is also its function active and the ports that it's in <clears throat> we have the uh, 10 floor data which we made for one of the other lessons we have applied it to Fast Ethernet 3. It is active. These right here, they are active and unsupported. And that's pretty much everything that you're going to need for your day to day administration. Just, you want to make sure that it's in the right VLAN, or you want to know all the different VLANs that, that are active on your switch. Well, this will do it for you. This will let you know. Just do a sh VLAN brief, show VLAN brief, and that's all you need. Thank you for joining us on CCIAdvisor.com for the explanation of the show VLAN brief command.